ترانزيشن فروم ان ارتست تو ا بزنس اونر اول حاجه زي ما قلت قبل كده انا اي توك اب ذا تشالنج دي كانت اول حاجه ثاني حاجه اي ستارت تو بيليف ان بينج ليميتلس اند ذات هاد تو هابن عشان اي واز ان ا باوندري لو ما كنتش كسرت الباوندري ده كان يمكن اصلا افكر ان انا ابقى بزنس اونر بيكوز اوف اكشلي نيفر بين ان تو هافنج ماي اون بزنس اند نيفر وانتد ريلي تو بي ان انتربرنور بس It was because I had this burning passion to create, with burning passion to see the possibilities of doing things that you, you're not used to. So I decided to do that. Of course, you need to study, but what you need to study is the question. Uh, you need to develop yourself in every single way possible. However, I don't believe you need to study as in a proper MBA. You can. There's lots of different routes and you have to see what suits you. عشان كل واحد مختلف فلو we followed one route هتلاقي ان you're so rigid ومش هتعملي موضوع with passion. So you have to see what suits you. في routes كتيرة قوي and it depends on your character عشان ما ينفعش واحد you follow one certain path. It depends on how you develop and how you think. Um, أنا personally اخترت إن أنا أقرأ كتب كتيرة قوي very varied subjects يعني ممكن spirituality, business, self-development, success stories success stories كانت من أكتر الحاجات اللي خلتني أتعلم how to do it because it just showed me how other successful people did it and if you just copy some of their ways which uh, a lot of them have in common and, and a lot of them were uh, along the lines of passion, determination, vision And everything else comes. I mean, the money comes, the team will come, the plan will come. But if you just start with these three, and then you can definitely do it. If you choose to take the artist route and your career is being an artist and exhibiting your work, then definitely you should look for galleries that you feel suit your style. بصراحة, sometimes in the beginning, ممكن يبقى الموضوع limiting شوية عشان a lot of the galleries go for the well-known artists, كل الكلام ده. But there are a lot of upcoming galleries that do accept um, artists who are just beginning, and definitely group shows are the best in the beginning because you get a lot of exposure. Um, it's The energy is great. You exhibit with other artists, and you get more people seeing your work. The uh, other thing, the thing, you have to say, stay true to yourself and and genuine. Because the problem with just being an artist, right? An artist can fall into the trap of commercializing their work and thinking about selling the work. All the kalam so you end up changing your style according to what people want. But being an artist, a true authentic artist, you have to paint with all your heart. I mean, fashion. Um, عندك توجيه من من اي حد بيسكلي او حتى جاليري ات هاز تو بي فروم يور هارت فا يو هاف تو ستي ترو تو يور سيلف تالت حاجه دونت ستي ان يور ستوديو كلنا از ارتست ساعات بنتضايق من فكره ان يو هاف تو ماركت يور اون ورك انا لا ايم ان ارتست اند انا عايزه اقعد ان ماي ستوديو اي جست وانت بينت ذس از سمون ايلس جوب والله لو بره في اكتر هو موضوع ان ايجنت ذات كان ماركت يور ورك هنا في مصر شويه ده صعب However, if you do find someone who is excited about marketing your work, that would be great. But definitely, first thing I recommend is having an Instagram page, posting your artwork, letting people see your artwork, possibly having a website, going and visiting all different exhibitions, meeting people, talking to people. عشان مين فاشل artist يفتح جوا box لازم يطلع بارا box ده and expose yourself and your work to as many people as possible. If you're an artist and you want to have a business, then I would truly advise to have a business that speaks to your heart one way or another, even if it's a commercial business. Because you're an artist and you have so much passion for art, then the business has to mirror that one way or another, so you keep the passion going. I chose for there to be a separation between business and art because I didn't want my artwork to become commercial. I didn't want to fall into the trap in no, my art is my only income. Anna Ben Nizbeli, my artwork is very emotional and very authentic. My fashion is not going to be able to do marketing or anything else. But I decided that the business is one thing and my artwork is something else. Oh, fair, there are some lines that have my artwork as is applied on the products. However, they're, they're limited edition, they're very special. But with the business, it's 
it's more like art and design intertwined and it includes a lot of what people want عشان it's all about people it's not just about the artist it's it's products that people use it's products عشان people to feel inspired in their homes it's injecting art in a in a very sort of basic way in our everyday lives مش كل حد هيحب يحط لوحه فنانه تشكيليه على الحيطه في a different form of commercial art that speaks to to people in different ways Basically, I think you really have to invest in a very good team because as an artist, لو مطلوب منك إن أنت تعملي كل حاجة إلا وأنا فعلاً عملته أول سنة أو سنتين and that's okay in the beginning only. بس لو مطلوب منك إن أنت تبقي the sales person, the marketer, the delivery person, the organizer, the planner, the artist, it's impossible to stay true to your feelings. It's impossible to excel in what you originally love to do. So the solution is definitely to either have a partner, to have a brilliant team, each talented in different areas because ربنا خلقنا كلنا إن إحنا نكمل بعض. So it's good to know what you need in order to expand in the right way. It is really difficult. It's annoying, بصراحه, seeing الموضوع من بره. It's annoying seeing all these entrepreneurs, including myself, Elawa. It looks easier than what it is, but it isn't. You get these huge debates in your mind, Elawa. طب أبتدي ولا لا؟ طب هقدر ولا مش هقدر؟ طب إمتى لا؟ دلوقتي it's not the right time. My advice is one is to just kick out your fear. Your fear is your biggest enemy. أكثر بكثير من الاكسترنال فاكتورز اللي اتكلمنا عليها whether you have money or not whether البلد واقفة على رجليها ولا لا whether you have a team ولا لا this is how our mind works it loves playing games with us and if you just understand the trick انت هتبقي أقوى من كل حاجة هتبقي you're like oh no 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 I can't do it it's not the right time no it is the right time you always have to like have this counter back discussion with yourself you have to just jump in the deep end in the cold water والماية هتبقى ساقعة واه هيبقى مش هتعرفي تعومي كويس في الأول بس طول ما أنت شايفة the successful examples and read about all these success stories هتلاقي إنه you can just do it just do it <laughs>دي أول حاجة، تاني حاجة you could bring in a partner in which I didn't and you have to have a vision يعني مثلا do you want to franchise مثلا ولا ولا لا عايزة تكبري في مصر بس ولا عايزة in the Middle East عايزة Europe عايزة it depends on what you want and everything is possible you put your vision down and then you start to work backwards you see so what do I need to reach that Okay, when and why are, are two questions that I'd like to answer. Why, and I've already answered before, عشان you have to stay true to yourself and to your passion and to your talents. If you do everything, you're going to diminish. That's number one. And, and number two, if you do everything, your life is going to diminish. You might be a very successful business owner, but you might not be a successful person. Well, being a successful person is the purpose of life. I mean, we don't talk about You have to have your life balanced. There is a point in time when you'll be doing everything. You're just going to be so swamped. It's good to step back and bring in the right people. Do it, just do it by Richard Branson, who moved my cheese, and you'll see it when you believe it by Wayne Dyer.